Oh, spontaneous creations with Brian here. What I got in front of you is three hexagon canvases. I got a set of six colors. What I got is what I got. Verdean, uh, dioxazine. I'm sorry. Verdean, dioxazine, purple or violet. Sorry. Uh, sky blue. Payne's gray. White, is that all of them? And emerald green. So I got, and I got the same colors, damn near the same amount of paint in each cup, about an ounce and a half. What I'm doing is, I'm gonna do uh, coconut milk hair serum, this stuff here. And I'm gonna do spot on treadmill. And I'm gonna do nothing. So silicone, dimethylcone, no cone. Um, I'm going to do one drop in, I'm not going to put any in the panes, in the white or the panes gray. One drop in each one of these of silicone first. One, 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 okay. I got two in that one and two in that one. And this mother, or coconut milk hair serum, I got in a different little bottle. But, I put two in each one of those also. So, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. fix to stir that in, huh? I'm just going to whip that in a bit. Not a lot. Paint does look a little bit thick in this little cup here, but it's, it's about right. So that's the silicone whipped in. I'm whip this to methicone in. There's about an ounce and a half of paint in each one of these little cups. These are two ounce cups. And they're just a little more than a half. Half full. So I didn't go crazy with the amount of paint. The cup I have in the center, this cup, this is a nine ounce cup. So, feasibly, three, six, nine ounces. <laughs> Alright, so these are all mixed up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these cups, and I'll be back. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. I'm still here. I'll be back. Okay, so I got the three cups with paints in them. Three dirty cups. Now, th remember these were nine ounce cups. They're about six to seven ounces full. I'm going to give each one of them just a swirl. I did two layers of each color. And we're going to move that one over there. So this is the dimethylcone. And the silicone. And the no cone. Alright. 
drop my needle. All right. Shoot that thing up. Because I'm a weenie. You need, need it hot so it'll poke through the plastic. It's just something goopy to do. Yeah, I'm seeing that thing move. And that will move. Canvases were supposed to be fairly level. That one didn't move at all. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna flip the pull this one. That's the methicone. Gonna pull this one. That's the silicone. So the paints were mixed with Floetrol, so there is that uh, cell, cell baking factor also. And the NOCO. Pull it back to the center, get everything in the center first. On each one of them. So even with the without silicone at all, or dimethicone, I did get some selling to start with. Alright, <clears throat> do this. This is no cone. Before tilting, before tilting much. A little bit of selling going on. <clears throat> this is the dimethicone. Bigger, um, I don't know. Different looking cells than the, this one. This one is kind of more laced, more jelly filled type cells, I think. Alright. You can only really tilt one of these, each of these one, or one at a time. So, here we go. My tilting process takes a while, so... I do not like to go directly across from when I'm tilting. Oh no, I'm weird. Lots of people do. My hand to cup with because I don't want to lose anything right yet.
underside of this is terrible looking, I guarantee it. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to need more than paper towel for this. Um, this is entirely too much paint for for this big of a canvas. And I don't want to tilt it off because I like the smell. Okay, that one, that is the methyl cone. Set that off to the side. Pull the silicone in. And I'm going to go with this a little bit faster, maybe. All the way to the corners instead of rolling it out to the edge and then going corners Somebody else see that? Nobody else saw that today. Sorry, I gotta do this again. Give you a chance to uh, a minute or two to look at it. I right know it's poor video thing to do is walk away and maybe just sitting there for a minute, but I didn't have a choice. I used 
there's too much paint for paper towel and I don't want to lo waste these cool green gloves I got um, now with no silicone in this th this is the no cone there's there's a few cells in there and I haven't hit anything with the torch yet so I don't know whether I will or not kind of liked it better the tilting better the way I did it the first time so I'm going to go almost to the edge So creative inspirations and flow troll. Now it's about four to one. Where am I going? Um, paint to flow troll. Four parts paint, or four parts flow troll, one part paint. paint off of it I guess okay I should put these back the way they were to start with. I'm not going to torch them. This is silicone, dimethyl cone, no cone, no torch. They all do have flow troll in them. Approximately seven ounces of paint on each. They all do have, definitely have a different look, but I like them all. Um, 
I don't think that was a terrible color palette at all. They definitely all got a, got a different look to them. And yes, I'm going to show you them up close in a moment. Love dropping cups everywhere. Get paint all over my hands. All right, risking dripping on each each other, but let's go with the silicone. This is silicone. drip. This is the methicone. And we got the no cone. Kind of want to hit that with the torch, but I want to keep them all the same. Same process throughout. Once these are dry, I'll, I'll bring them back. We'll see see what they look like. Alright guys, that's my experiment for tonight. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell um, when you want to see more, if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching. DOG out.